So this morning we're headed to the uh, Chickasaw National Recreation Area, I believe is how you say it. Um, it's down here in the southern part of Oklahoma and it's uh, there's a river that runs through there, kind of an old uh, camping and picnic area, some hiking trails. So we'll show some of that to you guys. Kind of taking a little road trip with Cecile's mom. So her fo first road trip here in the U.S. Uh, just kind of a, a one day getaway. We left early this morning and we'll be heading back sometime this afternoon. Uh, but she's having fun, looking forward to it. And just, you know, seeing places she's never seen and been to before. And the weather today is perfect. So good day for a road trip. This is the Welcome Center right at the entrance to the Chickasaw Nation. That's where we're at right now. Just made a quick rest stop, getting ready to get back in the truck. So we made it down here to the park area. And we're going first to the Little Niagara. It's got like a mini waterfall here. So you can swim and walk around the water. But it might be a little bit cold today. It's only about 70 this morning. But nice place to come anyway for walking. A lot to see. Really nice part of Oklahoma. If you guys have ever never been, uh, Arbuckle Mountain area around Sulphur and Davis. Uh, one of the nicer parts of the state, really. Got a big picnic area. You gotta claim your tables early. I'm going to far back. We thought we'd take Cecile's mom on a little road trip today uh, while she's here. We want to try to go to a few places, uh, you know, kind of near us, close to our house. We're about an hour and 20 minutes drive today. Um, now right now I'm kind of working six days a week trying to get things ready for our trip later this year around Christmas time. So we're not really able to take a long period of time and go somewhere far so we're trying to just go to a lot of these places in oklahoma that's you know an hour or so from us so we're down here in uh, arbuckle mountains area today and uh, right now we're over here at the uh, lake of the arbuckles and i uh, just got done eating lunch over at uh, the chickasaw recreational area which is part of this whole whole area here but uh, this is kind of something that it's hard to do in the Philippines to spend a day uh, in a park like this, eating lunch and stuff, because it gets pretty hot a lot of the time. So we don't have a lot of places around us in the Philippines to hang out outside for long periods of time where we are. We don't, they don't have a lot of parks and things. Um, but we do go to the beach sometimes. We'll cook food, take it with us, and uh, eat lunch at the beach. But uh, it's a little bit different here uh, experience for her. Nice cool breeze here sitting at the lake. Uh, we're in the upper 70s still this morning, so nice cool air, nice cool day, and just kind of hanging out and relaxing. So she's really enjoying that. And uh, Cecile likes to get out in fresh air also. So one of the things that really is... Uh, Something that we would probably miss about the United States is just times like this, going to uh, the lake or areas, uh, nice parks and things, and spending you know a good part of the day outside. Um, we do that in the Philippines, but Cecile doesn't like to be outside for too long there because uh, the hot uh, temperature and then also the sun. She doesn't like to be in the sun for too long, so. Uh, we do spend time outdoors there, but it's harder to spend a lot of time outside there than it is here. Here in the summertime, of course, it's too hot to spend a lot of time outside. She doesn't enjoy it here either. But you get into early fall, uh, springtime, 
Uh, we really enjoy being outside. The weather's nice and comfortable for her. So that's something we'll kind of miss about uh, living here later on. But uh, we do enjoy the outdoors quite a bit in the Philippines. We enjoy going to the beach quite a bit, uh, me especially. And, uh, you know, there's some resorts and things around us that we go to that uh, we enjoy. So there's a lot of stuff lot to do outdoors there but um, after a while Cecile's had enough because usually it gets too hot <laughs> she gets uncomfortable in the heat pretty fast Liam you don't really mind being in the heat you don't mind it if it's hot as long as you're having fun right yeah. especially you because you like to swim of course, yeah. and mom doesn't really swim so she don't get in the water and cool off Liam and I both like to swim we like going to the the beach and uh, we went to resorts we're getting in the pool so we stay we know how to cool off when it's hot outside but um, we have fun no matter where we go so Cecile's mom will be here for about two more months and uh, this is her first time really outside of Oklahoma City so this is her first road trip and uh, we're just down here for today we'll be driving back this afternoon but she likes to get out and see the countryside, you know, even outside the city. She just wants to see some of the places and how people live here and, you know, what different parts of our state looks like and uh, experience some of that so she can go back and tell her friends and family about it when she gets home and then just have the memories also. And, uh, you know, I think she'll always remember this time, even though it's a short period of time, she'll always remember this time that she spent here in the United States with us uh, a little bit different from anything that she's used to I had somebody ask in our last video about the process um, I think I mentioned it before but uh, the time that we applied for uh, her tourist application visa uh, visa application for tourist uh, was about two years from when we submitted the application until her interview and once she got her interview, everything was happened pretty quickly. It was pretty well done, and she was ready to go. She got approved, got her visa. They mailed it to her, I believe. They mailed her passport back to her with the visa in it, and that just took a few days. So uh, about two years is what it took for that process. Another person asked about uh, what she thinks about the weather. How's your mom like the weather today? Fine. <laughs> yeah, nice weather. And she really hasn't experienced a much of different uh, weather than what she's used to because it's been pretty hot here so far this summer. We haven't really gotten into any cooler temperatures yet. But today is a pretty cool morning. So she likes, she said she likes the cooler temperature in the morning but in the afternoons we've been getting pretty hot we're still you know most days we're in the 90s so she doesn't really experience any cold weather yet that's coming probably next month towards the end of October um, we get a lot of cool evenings and cool mornings for sure and a lot cooler days so she hasn't experienced any of the freezing temperatures or anything like that yet but I think before she leaves she probably will uh, end of November is when she goes back and I'm sure by then we'll if we haven't had any snow yet we'll have probably had some freezing rain or at least some freezing temperatures so she'll be able to experience some of that before she goes home and I have a feeling she probably is not going to like it very much I remember Cecile really had a hard time first winter she was here she didn't like the cold air at all she wasn't used to that and uh, yeah, she didn't uh, adjust too quickly to that and still doesn't really uh, handle winters that well but her mom will probably experience that just a little bit before she goes home but right now we're looking forward to just some little bit cooler days so when we do go to the parks and things like that it's you know 70s which is much nicer than 90s so that's what we're kind of looking forward to right now so if you have a family member that you've been 
maybe considering bringing over for a visit sometime and uh, weren't sure how they would like it or how they would adjust. Uh, I think it's a good thing to do. I think it's pretty exciting for everybody involved. Cecile's very excited to have her mom here and her mom's excited to be here. It's really a, for her, it's kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity uh, to go and visit a place like this and spend time here and especially being here with with us so it's been well worth the wait and the expense to do it you know it's a priceless thing to come and visit and spend time with your family and especially in her situation never been anywhere outside the philippines so never experienced any other country and to come here and experience this time here with us pretty special so we're glad we did it and she's glad that she did it she was nervous before she came and i think she's happy that she she uh went ahead and did it so nothing but good times ahead don't have time for photos he's already halfway across the bridge I think we showed this bridge before in one of our older videos this is the Lincoln Bridge show you guys the information here dedicated 1909 by the Secretary of Interior. So this was a National Forestry Department project back at the turn of the century. Very old bridge. Well, we're gonna go find a picnic table and eat lunch. This moment, can we stay here together? If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever?
watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? So today's a Sunday, and really after Labor Day, the lakes here, you almost have them to yourself. There's really not anybody here today. Um, the parking lot here is empty. There was a few people over at the Chickasaw Recreation Area, but out here at the lake, there's really not anybody. So we showed her the waterfalls, the river. We showed her the tra some of the trails in the picnic area. We did a picnic lunch. Now we've taken her and showed her the lake a little bit. We're sitting here at the side of the lake. I'm trying to try. And uh, you think she's getting tired yet? Yeah. Yeah, I think her and Cecile are about ready to wrap up the day and head back home. Uh, we'll be back home before dinner time, so that'll be good. They can fix some Filipino foods for mom's dinner. We're going to pack it in and head home. So thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and we'll see you on the next video.